Hello and welcome back to another Top Biz Guides tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be walking through the process of clocking in and out of a shared time clock through the web browser. I've actually already covered in a previous video clocking in and out from the web into a personal time clock. Okay, but in this video, we're going to talk about clocking in and out of a shared time clock. So the first thing that's important to do in both cases, by the way, is we want to make sure that the web time clock option is enabled. So the first thing that we'll do is go into settings over here from the sidebar then click on time clock options and then we want to make sure that web time clock is enabled so this will allow employees to launch the web time clock from their own computer so we want to make sure that that option is enabled so that they'll be able to click here and clock into the shared time clock or the personal time clock so as i said personal time clock i covered in a previous video in this one we're going to focus on shared time clock by the way if you know that with the computer you're always going to be clocking into the same one then you should select this option so it won't ask you which one you want to clock into each time so I'm going to do share time clock and I'll click on launch shared. Now what's going to happen is it's actually going to log me out of my home base account and open up the shared time clock. The reason for this is that I don't want users who are using the same computer and using the shared time clock to be able to access sensitive information. So when we're actually going to the shared time clock, it's actually going to log us out of the home base account that we're currently in. And another thing to notice is the pin number, right? So we have our pin number written here. We're going to need this in order to clock in and out from the shared time clock. So let's click on go to time clock and this will open up the shared time clock and log me out of the home base account. So this is what it looks like right now. We're viewing the shared time clock. Now in order to do actions like clock in and out, I'll click time clock over here and I'll need to enter in my pin number. Submit. It tells me welcome. If I had any scheduled shifts in the job scheduler, they would appear here and I could click them to clock in. But since I don't have anything scheduled, I'll just start an unscheduled shift, which will allow me to clock into a shift that just hasn't been scheduled in advance. Perfect. So now I've clocked in. Now, once I want to clock out again, since this is a shared time clock, I'll need to put in my pin again to clock out because other people may be using the shared time clock in the meantime. So I'll click time clock. And again, it'll ask me to enter in my PIN number. This is how each employee is going to be identified. And now I can either take a 30 minute break or clock out. So let's clock out to finish the shift. I could rate the shift, leave a comment if I wanted to. Click on submit. And that's it. We're done. We finished what we needed to do. We clocked in and out of the shared time clock. Now, if I want to clock back into the home base account, I'll click over here to sign out and it'll bring me into the login page where I could just log in as I would normally into my home base account. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on the next one.